So now that you understand what a fixed effect is and you know how to animate it, we can start to think more about pictures in pictures. For instance, we could take the same clip that we had before, drop it in, and we can scale it down by going to the effects controls, clicking the motion tab, scaling it to whatever size we wanted, and then if we wanted to, we could have it animating, if I open up, its rotation. So it starts at zero, and we can go forward to the end of the clip, and at the end of the clip, we can say you must have rotated 360 degrees. Enter and you'll see that it comes and says 1 times 0 degrees and what that means is it is 1 complete revolutions and however many degrees you want so if you click this and start to drag you'll see that it goes beyond 1 and eventually it gets to 2 so at this point it's 2 complete revolutions and 21 degrees but I just wanted it at 360 degrees or 1 complete revolution so I'll take it there and you'll see that over that period of time we've animated the rotation and the rotation has taken place from the anchor point in the middle we can even animate anchor points so if I go to this point at the very beginning so the up and down arrows to go to those edit points and then I can choose the anchor points I can animate the anchor points and I can go to the end so page down back one frame which is the left arrow so I can see it and I can animate that anchor point and I can pull it across so that it's gone to say the top left hand corner so we've animated the rotation point so you'll see that it starts in the middle and then ends up rotating from a different place and you'll also see that scale is affected from where that anchor point is so let me give you a little example of that I'm going to reset everything so reset I'm going to turn off the keyframes now as soon as you click a stopwatch it comes up and says hang on a second are you sure you want to do that because you're going to get rid of all your animation actually I am sure I want to do that and again also in the anchor point it says are you sure yes so I've gone back so that it's got no animation to it at all but this time I want to animate it growing on screen now if I play with the scale effect and I click scale you'll see that it scales from the middle and if I want to scale it from a corner so that it scales onto the screen what I actually need to do is make sure that this anchor point is in the top left or top right hand corner so let's move it across to the top right hand corner by going to anchor point and scrubbing it across so it's right over this side and then scrubbing it up so it's right at the top now when I scale you see I pull scale it's scaling from that point so if the clip was actually up here in the top right hand corner of my shot and I take my scale to zero and then I click the stopwatch and I go to the end of my clip down arrow minus one frame and then I scale it up to a hundred percent you're gonna see that over the life of the clip it goes from nothing and completely takes over now obviously I should have a clip that then carries on a bit longer afterwards to really demonstrate that so that it can basically take over and that would be a transition of some sort but that's playing with these clips but there's even more to it than this I'm going to reset it again by clicking this button here and I'm going to turn off my animation and it's going to say are you sure yes I'm sure because if I go to my effects tab down here and I open up right at the top presets open up presets you'll see that there's a section here called pips and pips stand for picture in picture and if I open up pips I've got 25% pips open that up and I've got a whole bunch of options 25% lower left 25% lower right 25% in motion 25% upper left 25% upper right and actually even these ones have animation so if I open them up you'll see that I've got 25% upper left and that will just stick it in the upper left but I've also got one that will scale down from full so let's try this all you need to do to apply is click and drag it onto the clip you want to apply it to so I want to apply it to this particular clip here and let go and look up here in my effects controls you'll see that animation has actually been applied so when I go to the beginning and I hit spacebar to play you'll see that it scales down from full size to finish up at this particular point in the upper 
left hand corner so you can see it says pip 25% upper left scale down from full and that's exactly what it's doing and all I needed to do was drag and drop it on to make it work again you might want to also add in some sort of fade on or fade off depending on what you want to do so if I want to undo that I can control Z to get rid of it and then I can apply another one so let's have a quick look at the motion category you can have a play with these as you like so I can say lower left to lower right let's do upper left to upper right click and drop it on there let go and you'll see that I've got a 25% upper left to upper right now if I think 25% is too small which I do notice that I can still go in and change scale scale is not animated so whatever I set it at so if I take it up to say 44% it's gonna stay at 44% all the way through the animation that's there okay so just because you've applied one of these presets doesn't mean that you can't then go in and modify it as you wish even as we've done before going down to the, our video transitions go to our dissolve and take a cross dissolve drop it on the front and then scale that down and a cross dissolve at the back scale that down and then you can have a little look at our end results fades on as it goes across screen and fades off so these presets that we have I'm going to click on the clip again these presets we have for pips and for lots of other bits and pieces as well are there to make your life easier but just because you've selected one doesn't mean you can't then go in and animate it as much as you like I hope you found this tutorial useful in the next tutorial we're going to have a very quick look at the corner pin effect mm -hmm.